Shook it up. Good afternoon, guys. Today I am going to do something a little bit different. I've been doing a bit of online shopping, high street shopping, because I have lost a bit of weight and I wanted to bring my wardrobe up to date for number one, the season, because we're coming in summer now and I want some lighter, kind of more summery feeling clothes. And number two, I obviously want to update it to fit my altered shape and size. And number three, obviously I want to keep on trend and not look out of place with all the trendy people online. So I just thought I'd buy a few things, nothing too expensive. There are a few slightly more expensive items, but then I balance it out with some super cheap and affordable items. And then we have the staple, the one and only, the best jeans that I found in ages. I'm currently wearing them underneath and I will show you in a second. The jeans will actually be a staple in my wardrobe for the next couple of weeks. We have a lot of events coming up this weekend. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. It is Lift Brum. I will be there with Gymshark and all the other Gymshark athletes and it's a free event. So it's free for you guys to come down, meet us all, see us all in the flesh, check us out, touch us, hug us, have cuddles, have chats meet other athletes, meet other people who are in to the same thing as you. So we have that this weekend. But I always find when I do these Gymshark events, all the other Gymshark athletes are super fashionable and they have like really cool outfits for the meals out every night. So I kind of want to keep up with all these super fashionable girls. And then next week, Lex and I go back to Ireland. We have not been back in Ireland since we've been married. So this is our first time back in the homeland as a married couple. We will be spending some time in Dublin. We'll be spending some time at home in the Midlands, in Longford with my family. I wanna be looking fashionable when I see people after such a long time. And I want to make a really good impression, obviously on my friends and family to show them how awesome and successful I am since I moved away from the motherland. So let's get on with it. I'll show you this first outfit. I will give you the pricing, talk you through the sizing and where I got them. Most of them have been purchased pretty recently, so you should still be able to get them. So I have the tags still on the jeans, just to remind me of the sizing and the cost. These jeans, as you can see, they have the distressed knees and they have the distressed end on them. These are from Zara, they are a size six. They don't have too much stretch in them but as you can see i've got the big booty and small waist and they fit me without a belt perfectly and they're just like really comfy fashionable i feel like i can dress them up or down so right now i've got them on with a pair of heels now the heels actually are last season from asos i'm not sure if they're still available but they do have similar on asos right now and this top also from Zara, I got these, both of these last week, so they should still be in Zara. I actually saw that Sophie Ares has this top and it was only $12.99 from Zara. As you can see, it's like a stretchy material with kind of two layers and this is the lace layer and this is a size small. Like normally guys, I'm a size eight on top and a size six on bottom but recently from some stores i found that i've had to buy size four on bottom i don't think i technically am a size four apart from around my waist because my legs and my booty are definitely more a size six but on top because i've got the fake boobies i'm normally a size six to eight these jeans definitely a go-to and they are only 25.99 so that's a size six uk two in the USA and they just have size 34 so I'm presuming that's a European size 34. Excuse the mess guys, this is just like where I keep all the clothes for when I'm doing this try on. So I'll try on a few more tops for with the jeans. So the next top I have teamed with the jeans is just a simple kind of stretchy bandeau type top and it's one of those ones that has all the stitching and it's like super stretchy the whole way down. I feel like if you went out on a night out, I'd be afraid someone would just yank it down because I wouldn't wear a bra with this. 
it was from Urban Outfitters and they had loads of different ones but I kind of like this one with the polka dots. It was a little bit pricey for what it is, it's £22 but that's what you get in Urban Outfitters. But I still kind of thought it was really cute and I wanted to get it and it fitted really well. This is a size small and I think I could probably wear this with a lot of other things like skirts and under different things and you could kind of wear it dressed up or dressed down so quite a versatile top so moving on to this t-shirt also from Zara it was only 12 99 and it has like these raw hems and I love this kind of material I'm not sure what it's called like an organic cotton but it's like really light and kind of marled and it just has like a raw edge v-neck and it's kind of like a rounded v-neck as well which i think is more flattering now you could wear it down as just like a casual throw over but obviously i wear everything tied up into a crop because i got my tiny waist and i like to show it off so again i really just love it with these jeans i think it's like casual but still kind of trendy throw it with a leather jacket over it or just by itself and it's just really super nice casual tea while still looking fashionable thank you zara so this outfit is obviously a little bit more classy i really love my high-waisted wide leg trousers i just think it really suits my shape and i just feel that they're quite flattering on me and i normally wear them with a crop top so these trousers, I've actually gotten a couple of pairs and I've got a pair in a red and white pinstripe, in a floral print and now in these in the black and white stripe. Now these I have had to get in a size 4. The red and white ones that I have are a size 6 and they're just far too big. They just sit way too low on the waist on me. So, I decided to go for the size four. Now these are the regular length and they are very long on me. As you can see, they're kind of trailing on the ground and that's what heels on. I also have a kind of a floral print pair and they're a petite pair. I got them through ASOS, but they're new look branded. And I just think they're really good standard trouser. I only got them the other day, so they should still be available. But new look are getting it right with these trousers. They're just really good quality as well because a lot of the high-waisted wide leg trousers are just an elastic waist, but these actually have an invisible zip and are properly tailored, which I quite like. Now this top is a size six and it is a little bit snug on me. I think I could do with size eight, but it is a petite size six and it's Miss Selfridge. Again, I got it on ASOS from Miss Selfridge, but it should still be available. But I would think that just in the petite, I think if I got it in a regular one, it might fit me better. But it is a little bit snug. It's okay once I get it on, but just to get it on, it's a little bit tight because it obviously is stitching all around here and it's not elasticated. Okay, guys, I got to be honest, I love this outfit. I think it is so cute. Now, this is one of the more pricey items that I have purchased. This is from Free People. It's available on ASOS. And I have actually gotten it in two sizes because I wasn't sure which size that I was. So when I originally got it, I got it in a size six. And Lex felt it fitted me, but I felt that it was just a little bit baggy. So this is the size zero or the size four UK. And it's just so cute. I've always been a fan of any kind of braces or dungarees. I still have the label on so that's free people and it's just like a really cute little dungaree dress and as you can see it has the raw hem and it kind of goes up and down in all the right places because it covers the back of my legs there and I just think it is so freaking cute I love it but I will show you it in the bigger size just to show the difference but I personally think this fits me a bit better because it's just snugger around the hips and you have like the little short skirt but then you kind of make it cute by having it in the dungarees i'll just show you the little top that i have on underneath which is also super cute so this top 
Like, look how cute that is. I love it. I'm saying cute way too much. Like, I'm way too old to be saying cute. I still have the label on, so I know the price. This is from Urban Outfitters as well. And again, this is one of the more pricey items, considering it is a tiny piece of material. But at least there's a little bit more detailing in this one. It has the tie up here. Again, no bra. And it shows a bit of my back as well, which I always think my back is like my best feature and my abs. So anything that shows off both is a win for me. But I can't tell whether it says it's black, but kind of has like more like an like it's like very, 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 very dark navy rather than black. But you can see like you could wear this with if you were a bit more brave with maybe like a maxi skirt or with a pair of jeans. But I kind of like it with this covered up and you kind of have the side ab there. And the shoulders out, oh, super cute. So this is the bigger size in the pinafore dress. This is the size six. And as you can see, it just gapes a little bit more. And I don't know, it's just less fitted. And if that's the style you're going for, maybe go, if you're between sizes, go for the bigger size. But I personally wanted a bit more fitted down below, down below. But I just feel like, this is just a little bit too big and baggy around here. Whereas the other one is more fitted, but still has the same length and has the same effect. So I think I'm gonna stick with the smaller size in this. This is by far my favorite outfit. It's so girly. I kind of feel like Minnie Mouse in it. And I've got new shoes. So this is complete foot porn. They are a glass heel, peep toe, wrap around the ankle. And they are super cute. The shoes are from Faith. And they're on ASOS right now. You should still be able to get them. This little skirt, I love it. Cause it's actually shorts underneath. So I feel really safe in it. Like I'm not gonna flash anyone. Cause sometimes in a skirt, I'm very conscious of, you know, bending over and showing people the world. But this is size six, it's AX Paris. And I think it should still be available on ASOS. Now I've got it riding quite low on my hips. As you can see, I've got the little shorts underneath, the little ruffles. So I'm gonna wear this for the PR event for Lift Brum. And then we've got the top is pretty little thing. And it's just a really simple little off the shoulder ribbed top in a size six. So I really feel like Minnie Mouse. Okay, this last outfit is actually a bit of a fail. Yes, it looks really cute. You've got the plaid trousers and the crop top. Taking a closer look, this is how big the trousers are. Now these are size six from ASOS. And I'm sorry, but I really do think I am a size six. And these are crazy big. They're even big around the bum on me. And there's no elastic in them. So that's why I went for the size six because I thought in a size four, Without elastic, these would not go over my bum. But look how big they are. Like, that's crazy how big they are. I thought they'd be pretty cute, but these are a fail and they're going back. They're also like super long, considering they're meant to be like a crop up here. They're actually right down to my ankle. So I think with regards to these pants, I would have to get them in a petite fit because they do not fit at all, ASOS. And the crop top is from Zara. I know I'm cutting off my head, but I have the camera kind of just angled at me. So you can see that it has this nice little tie up and I've got this in a white as well. It is from last year's Zara, but I think I've seen it in some of the Zara's, so it might still be available. And it's like a real go-to because it's super elastic and washes really well. Last but certainly not least, I am a sucker for printed t-shirts and this is from ASOS and it's just so cute and it just has the New York print and I just love it. I love this kind of pop art anyway and it is like a unisex and it's a size small. So to be honest, I could probably wear this as a dress, it's quite long, but I'll probably just either tuck it into jeans or tie it up, wear it with a skirt, something like that. But I do love my oversized tees and this is no exception. I just love a cute t-shirt can't go wrong. So that is the end of my online high street 
fashion haul. I know this isn't my usual content. I just want to try something new. I really enjoy fashion and I know some of you guys like seeing me out of my gym clothes. That sounds wrong. Probably not out of my gym clothes. Well, you probably like that too if you're a guy. But I know you guys sometimes like seeing me in my streetwear and my civvies as we like to call it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it the thumbs up. I really appreciate you watching. If you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content and you like fitness and health and lifestyle, subscribe. And if you have any questions about any of the items, where I got them, what size they were, how much they were, etc., just hit me up down below and I promise to answer you as quickly as possible. Love you guys. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.